Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now today I'm going to be sharing my experience with this, a 450 watt power supply that I purchased a couple of years ago to power my GTX 750 Ti system. Shamefully it cost me £11.99 on sale, roughly $15 or €14. Euros. Buying it wasn't the best idea I admit, and with the PSU being the most important part of any system, it could have been considered a silly risk, but with the low system draw and the 750Ti sipping power straight from the PCIe slot, it actually held up. So this generic 450 watt PSU features all the connections you need including SATA and even one 6 pin graphics card connector, but we'll get onto that in a bit. Before we had plenty of sites reviewing and assessing the quality of PSUs, along with plenty of online user reviews, a quick indication to quality, as some suggest, would have been to test the weight by picking it up, you know, heavier weight, better quality components, etc. And this unit always struck me as very light. In terms of more detailed specs, this thing offers 23 amps on the 12V rail and has an efficiency rating of 75%. It only saw use with my overclocked G3258 4.5 GHz and GTX 750 Ti system which drew an estimated 247 watts under load with the PSU suggestion for the graphics card being 300 watts. It worked fine and a 750 Ti will work with most generic OEM PSUs much like the 1050 and 1050 Ti or other budget graphics cards providing they don't have an external 6 pin connection requirement. So although this old PSU didn't die or cause any system crashes it was powering a fairly modest non power hungry system. So today I decided to take the risk with my i5 4460 and GTX 1060 PC to see if this thing would power it. This new PC is a little more power hungry with an estimated 323 watt load wattage. The suggested requirements for my Zotac Mini 1060 are a 400 watt PSU with 20 amps and a 6 pin connection. So we're playing Far Cry Primal and have been doing so for an hour and this PSU is clearly powering these components fine without stability issues, if not a little bit louder than usual. There are also a few whines coming from the unit and the whole experience feels a little bit sketchy. I can only imagine that a more powerful system or a weaker PSU wouldn't be so forgiving and panicking at the thought of your PSU all the time is no way to enjoy your PC gaming experience. As I mentioned before, cheaper PSUs should run less powerful GPUs are no problem, so should OEM ones that you find in Dells, HPs and other name brand pre-built computers, but I've only come to understand and appreciate the risk more since my $5 Dells power supply popped after a CPU upgrade. To conclude, it's entirely up to you what PSU you go for of course, but if buying a reputable name brand one for 20 to 30 pounds, dollars or euros more means that you have to cut back on say an extra stick of RAM or an optical drive to stick within budget for now, then I definitely recommend doing so and prioritizing safety and efficiency. After that, feel free to build the rest of your system as cheap as you like. There are also a couple of power supply calculators online that help you to figure out what PSU you need for a system and I'd recommend checking those out too if you're unsure. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video has been helpful today. I wanted to share my experience a little bit. If you enjoyed it, leave a like down below. Leave a dislike if you didn't and hopefully I'll see you all in the next video.